Scorpio, how are you doing guys? So here to do your tarot reading. Uh, the channel messages are separated now and they will be different from your actual tarot reading. They'll come out uh, individually, hopefully, maybe, I'm sure they'll probably be out by now before these, uh, this reading. But I'm hearing, slightly, is uh, something to do with someone's hearing. Earrings. Something to do with earrings. Earrings. Hearings. Hearing. Hear, hear. Some of you are going to court all this as a member of parliament. But it feels like, hear, hear, yeah, so I agree. It's like, yeah, well, I disagree. No, well, I agree with you. No, it's fine. It's like, no, I disagree. So you, it feels like that you're having in a disagreement, but an agreement <laughs> at the same time, which is so confusing. So it feels like, well, let's just agree to disagree then. Something about degrees, Fahrenheit as well. I think it might have a lot to do with cooking or it's going to be hot. Something that's going to be hot. Okay, it could be a fire sign. I'm picking up Aries for a lot of you. Aries. Picking up an Aries. Unless it's Cancerian, it's to do with picking one up and you drive and it's something to do with an Aries. Okay, an Aries. Because they're saying that I'm picking someone up, right? But I, I'm, I'm picking up spiritually that the person that you're picking up, like in a car, <laughs> sorry if I'm giving the, the motions, but uh, it's like the person that you're picking up in the car could well be like Aries. Or the Aries could be picking up. So I don't know. It's it's obviously you guys, Aries and Cancer and the star signs I'm picking up. And also driving. Okay. Uh, and I'm hearing driving Miss Daisy crazy. Something is driving someone crazy. It's like I'm driving you crazy and I'm driving you crazy. But I'm driving crazily. So be careful around driving. Um, but it feels like the person that you pick up is like driving you crazy it's like there's a lot of like nata 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 i'm hearing natalie as well the name natalie but um nata 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 and then it's like oh man this person's driving me crazy it's something about the person that you pick up in a car maybe i don't know <laughs> we'll just go on with it slightly and that there's a lot of nattering okay uh but i'm definitely hearing the name natalie though nat 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 um Matt, also the name Matt, Matt, Matt. Could be, it might not even be Nat, it could be Matt. Uh, what else have we got? Because it is very early in the morning and I swore that I wouldn't channel straight away, but uh, I have been for a few of the signs. What else have we got for Scorpio? Just leave it. They said, just leave it, just leave it. <laughs> just leave it alone. Leave them alone. I don't know. It's like, just leave them alone. It's, uh, it's a message from someone to somebody. And it's like, just leave them alone. Stop keep irritating them. It's something to do with, like, irritation. Like, irritate, being irritable and someone irritating you. And you're like, man, that's really irritating me. Whatever it is, it's like, it's just, like, prodding or just, like, you know, when you feel, like, irritable and you're like, oh, God, man, I'm just shut up. Or, or, or something. But I'm hearing this, like, some something or someone. But I'm picking this up as that someone's in a car. Like, I, I don't physically mean... I kind of mean a person, but what I mean is, is that in a car, like you're in a confined, confined space with someone, and it's like why I'm picking it up. It's more to do with like work, right? Because that would be something where you're like, this is not work. I can't get out of this, and I'm like, because that would normally be in a circumstance when you're in travelling, right? And you're travelling and you're travelling, and you think, well, I can't just jump out of the car because I'm driving it, or I'm the passenger, and I can't just jump out. And it feels like work somehow. This could be. I mean, if you don't drive for work. It's something to do with, like, physically at work. And it's like, like, natter, 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 natter. And you're like, oh, man, like, I, I just want to, like, just shut up for a minute. <laughs> like, just be quiet. I need some quiet time and that I can't think. And it's a little bit like when you go into one of those daisies. And those da daisy, I'm also hearing daisy. But um, the daydream. And you're kind of like driving along and you're and you're kind of like wandering and you're thinking man I've you know this is my personal time and this is my personal space and I've got you know time on my own but then all of a sudden you're doing this job or something and then there's this person that that you can't get away from that's talking a lot and you're like man this used to be my quiet time this is the time that I used to have to myself and I was able to you know to be quiet and just enjoy my own peace of mind and uh, it feels like that you have peace of mind, obviously, but a lot of the times you don't have peace of mind. 
And I really do think that this is a lot to do with around where you're working, right? Where you're working. And there seems to be like a lot of commotion or or something. And you're like, man, I can't even think. Like, I can't think with all this noise. I just need a minute just to, just a break, you know? I don't, I don't physically feel like a break away. I just feel like I just need a break, you know, to, to stop hearing all of this. <laughs> I mean, listen, it could be what goes in on my head. You know, I get loads of signs and voices and stuff all, all the time, you know. So it could even be something like that. But it, it, it's this energy where there is nothing that is immediately coming in. And it, I have to sometimes go with the feeling. And it feels like that my head is just like clogged, just clogged at the moment with so much stuff on. I think that you're going to be very busy during September. Um, well, I don't know. I haven't really put a timeline to this one. Okay. Channel mysteries are different. I have to put a timeline to it. But um, I'm picking up the, yeah, I don't know, a break anyway. So let's stop channeling. So, but they'll probably be out by now anyway. Uh, not a tower reading. But this is your tower reading. Okay. Um, for the past. Let's see what's been going on with Scorpio. Going on it's very difficult sometimes when I do the first reading of the day. Sometimes it takes me a little bit. And I'm really picking up this slow, like slow, like a slow go, or like slow go, slow go. It's like slowly and slowly. And you could be dealing with a Virgo. <laughs> I'm thinking of Virgo. But like slow, slower go. And, and it's kind of like that, oh man, like, it could be some of the frustration, like, it might not even be the talking part, it just feels like that there is something around you where it's like, slow, and then it's like, oh man, hurry up, and it's like, slower, and it's like, hurry up, slower, and it's like, man, I'm going to tell this person in a minute if they don't soon start speeding up and doing a little bit of something, okay, and it's, it's like, um, I don't know, you know when you, when you sometimes have to be cruel to be kind, right? And you don't really want to say anything. And you're like, because this could really be going on in your workplace. And you're like, man, I don't even really want to have to say anything. It's like, why don't you get it? Like, you know, why don't you just get it? <laughs> and it's like, no, slower. And it's like, man, if this person soon doesn't start, like, contributing towards... I don't know, the work or relationship, I don't know. But I'm feeling more work for you guys at the moment. And it's like if you don't soon start hurrying up, like hurry up, that it, it's like waiting for an adolescent teen to go to school, right? And not even a teen, but someone to go to school and they're like, man, will you just get out of the house? Like, And then this person's kind of like, oh, no, no, hold on a minute, I just forgot something. And you're like, oh, man. And then they go and get, they get the thing. And then they're just about to go out the door and then, oh no, I forgot my Thai or I forgot something. And I'm also picking up Thai food as well. Thai, thai, thai food or oh, Thai food. Thai food. But do you know what I'm saying? We're going to go on with the Thai food in a second. <laughs> <coughs> it wasn't going to channel, Steve. Is it early? Yeah, 7 a.m. <laughs> but, but um, like, oh no, I forgot something. And then come back and then, oh no. And then it's like, oh man, just, oh, hurry up. Um, but typhoon, like a typhoon. So, I mean, we don't get them in the UK, really. Or I don't think we've ever had one. So I'm hearing like a typhoon, like a typhoon. But I'm hearing like a Thai bride or someone that's from Thailand or Ireland. Ireland. Yeah, Ireland. They're definitely saying Ireland. Ireland. Or someone that has an, an Irish accent. <laughs> Steve, do an Irish accent. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, you stole me pot of gold. What do you say then? No. But um, I'm picking up Ireland. That's grand. Yeah, grand. I'm hearing grand. 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 A grand. Some of you could be earning some good money. Like, some good money, though, in this. Because a grand here is obviously a thousand pound. But uh, a grand. It's like a, it's, there's a grand in that, there's a grand in that, there's a gram in that. Oh, okay, there might be a gram in it for you. <laughs> or gran, grandma or granddad. But uh, a gram, <laughs> that's a gram of speed or a gram of something. Because I'm picking up fast and then go, and then fast and then go. And then, well, the only thing that would make some people go fast 
is a gram of something, right? So I don't know if y'all are dealing in weight and stuff like that. I really don't know. Um, but I'm picking up like something around you, which could be drugs, is like slow. And it's like, oh man, just hurry up and get here so I can have it. And then it's like, go. Oh. And it's like, oh. Unless this is a car, it wouldn't be for everybody. Anyway, let's see. So what's been going on with Scorpio? To be honest, when it comes to doing tarot readings, I get frustrated when I have to get out of tarot cards <laughs> at the moment for a little bit. And uh, I, I seem to like, just like the channeled stuff. I find it that I can relax more into that. Anyway, let's see the past. Uh, Six of Swords. Six of Swords, great. It's just got a command. Sorry if you can hear it slowly in the speaker. Slowly, slowly, slowly moving forward. We need to find a common ground. This is very helpful energy, though. I'm picking up, look, let me just help you. Let me just help you get on. It's like, look, are you on board or not on board? But I can help you. If you want assistance and stuff like that, I can help you on board. It's like, well, for, come on in. It's like, welcome aboard, right? Welcome aboard. This is the airline. Airline, uh, airline. Some of you could be going abroad or going somewhere. It's like, uh, this is airline, whatever. <laughs> this is hairline someone's hairline see i'm picking up the the fox and jamie jamie fox <laughs> jamie fox the gold digger <laughs> jamie fox uh, jamie or fox but jamie fox but um <laughs> be watching this but uh, something to do with like um the like well come on board it's like come aboard come aboard welcome on board and you you're bought like a boarding plane or something right a boarding plane a boarding pass. Let's see. It's been there in the past. Anyway, <laughs> Steve, where's our relationship? Well, can't really. I can't really sense one at the moment. September. Well, no. What's been going on? Well, we're not even September. This is like well, welcome, welcome on, welcoming. Well, I'm welcoming, welcoming you here if you want to reconcile, but if you don't, then, you know, we need to find some kind of common ground at least. I just can't sense a relationship, no. I can't sense a relationship here. I kind of feel something around, but Scorpio Taurus energy, okay, more in rising, descending. Um... But that's more like, you know what, I'm just gonna choose myself, really, is what I feel. I'm just gonna choose myself and I'm just gonna make peace with myself, make peace with myself. There's a lot of saving money and building money, building society. I feel like someone's got a building society, like a good bank account. Um, but this is like, well, I'm banking on, I'm banking on myself. This is all I pick up, is that I just bank on being me. I bank on it. Or it could actually be at a bank. You might work at a bank. Oh dear. The old lot got the Grim Reaper. <laughs> the Grim Reaper is reaping something. Sowing, reaping and sowing. Someone is like now reaping what they sowed. So what they said. Somebody said something that caused separation. It caused someone to hang up and block the person out and not speak to them for quite some time. And now the person that got blocked out is really trapped in a situation now where it's the aftermath of a breakup more than likely. Because the Eight of Swords is a very frustrated energy where it's more Leo Aquarius energy. And it's fixated on that they can still feel or you can still feel that energy around but I think that it was too much where I don't want to be tied down. I don't want to be tied in a relationship. Meaning like, I'll have a relationship if it's easy going and easy flowing. But if it's very frustrating and you bring loads of stuff from your head and make it feel like that a relationship is based on how you see it and how do I see it, I don't see it this way. I don't see being triggered and mirrored and possibly screamed at because whatever happened between here and here is the conversation that caused this which caused you to pretty much hang up, put the phone down, realize that someone is always in their head and they always bring their head to the relationship. 
which is why I'm picking that up as a possible Aquarian moon, maybe, or a, um, an air sign, moon sign, but more fixed, I would say, um, Aquarian, okay, but also Leo energy. So, and Scorpio, you see, I think that you just had this, this belief of relationship being totally different, totally different on, on completely on the other ends of the earth of how a relationship's supposed to be, you know. It's seen by one as like, well, no, this is a relationship. This is what we're supposed to do. And the other person's kind of like, no, this is really not what we're supposed to do. You know, we're not supposed to yell and scream and get fed up with one another and constantly keep doing the same thing over and over again. So it's best to just finish and, and you know, ignore each other pretty much. Watch the six, four. Yeah, there you go. Scorpio energy. I'm not interested. This is like, well, what are, you, what are you blocking me out for? I'm not blocking you out. I'm blocking you out for a reason, because I don't want to listen to all the chaos. That's why if someone shuts down, that's why Scorpio shut down. That's what I keep saying. If you overpressure, <laughs> that's what you keep saying, Steve, but, you know, the people that more than likely do this, they don't watch the tarot readings. They don't actually watch it. Say your partners, they probably don't watch tarot readings. And if they do, and I've said, listen, whatever you do, don't pressurise a Scorpio <laughs> let them come to terms to things on their own, you know, let them come around to the energy of being open towards conversation, sex, going out, coming out, going out, doing whatever, but you have to leave it on the terms of a Scorpio. That's the difficult energies of Scorpio. Okay. I have it in rising. So, you know, here it's more than likely where other people did watch it and they're like, No, I've got something to say. I'm gonna say it. Not to me, you're not. Not to me, you're not. No. Not to me. Five of Cups. So the person that got blocked out now is realising that they're now on their own. That they're now on their own. Okay, this is, fortunately, this is the past. <laughs> so, but again... The never-ending cycle of codependency. Nine. Nine of cups. Denied. Denied energy. No, I am not listening to all that chaos and all that rubbish. I've done this over and over and over again. I've repetitively said that if I feel a certain way, whatever you do, don't pressure me. We got back together, we reconciled. We made common ground. But then I did state and I did lay it on the line and said to you, do not pressure me into situations when I'm busy. If I've got work on or I'm generally getting on with my life and I feel okay and you come in with drama, start causing conflict, that's the reason why people get blocked out. But I told you that before and you've done it again. So why do it again? That's why it's an irritating energy of someone that was purposely prizing their way into in and out of a Scorpio's life. You can't do that with Scorpio. You can't go in their life, out their life, in their life, out their life, or cause chaos around any fixed sign. And I think that you've dealt with fixed signs in general of a lesson around knowing what your true value is, is what how you see a relationship, not the other people. Forget the other people. Forget the cross watchers or whatever. How you generally see a relationship and how it should go, right? That's the perfect match for you, right? The perfect match for the other person is going to be how they see the thing and how they see a relationship. They'll find somebody that they'll be that same way in a relationship as well as what you will be. Okay, This is more than likely where Scorpio energies can be very frustrated feeling in relationships. Where it's um, you're in one and you like getting in one. And then when you're in it, you can become very... Uh, I mean, but you can become very... Um, like, just like... Just like, oh man, I'm bored. Like, you know, just like this fixed, uh, oh, it's so difficult to explain. Well, it's it's hard for me to explain Scorpio rising. Uh, but you just settle. You settle in a relationship. And that there's certain things that happen in it where you're like, man, I, I can't deal with so much attention all the time that's needed for me, you know, for me. Like questions and answers and like time that has to be spent when I really feel like I wanted to be on my own or like 
you know, like a couple of three days on my own or just to break away and not have to deal with day to day life. Because of that, when you're in a relationship with Scorpio, they and you at the same time become, become very settled with like, well, I'm really not settled. You know, I'm unsettled more than settled, you know. Eight of Swords. So someone now is just waiting for the aftermath of the, been waiting, waiting to, I don't know, it could be waiting to get over it. You know, if this is a complete ending, then there's obviously aftermaths in life of where people need to come to terms to things, right? Come to terms to it. But realizing that they're all still straight up in their head and they're waiting. This is someone that, tidies up a lot as well like does a lot of favors and a lot of loyalty of like well i'm doing you the favor what from the eight of swords you're, you're doing me a favor by oh dear oh dear playing a game that's what i'm saying you just sense that and know that that someone plays a game to try and get your attention you can obviously be like, you spend, like I said, I'm channeling it, so a couple of three days with people, right, a relationship, and you're like, okay, I've got three days and we're gonna do all of this good stuff and I'm giving you time and attention and we're going out and we're, you know, we're going for drinks and we're going for a meal and we're going for all this sort of stuff and that's all good and I'll give you three days or two days of my undivided attention is down to you. And then all of a sudden, when you're busy and you've got work and you're earning your money and you take back your time and think, you know what, I just need a day to myself or a bit of free time, all of a sudden, someone starts coming up with a scenario in their head to get more of your attention and to get more of your time, right? Where you're like, listen, I am bent over backwards trying to get your attention focused back on me. At the same time, it's like, I'm bent over backwards, keep trying to come and see you and do all of the work and put all the work in. So someone, scenario-wise, comes up with something in their head from the Eight of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles of sit there contemplating and thinking, well, when's the next day that we're going to see each other then? And you're like, well, I've just spent a couple of three days with the family or spent a couple of three days doing something with you. So why is it now that you want another day when I told you that I'm working? I'm working, right? I'm earning my money and my crush and my life and things that I want to do. So when it, why is it that when I want to do what I want to do for me of how I feel and in my life and stuff I'm doing for work, why is it that then you come up with a scenario that you want to see me again when I told you I'm working? So then someone's like, oh no, <clears throat> tell me then if you want a relationship or not. And you're like, what? What? What do you mean? And it comes from the Eight of Swords, of someone that is repetitively thinking, well, I want all of your time. Like, you've, you're supposed to see me every minute of the day. We're in a relationship. We're supposed to live together. We're supposed to smother each other in kisses and cuddles and be with each other 24-7. Uh, 24-7, right? So we're supposed to be... <laughs> I don't know if that adds up, but... <coughs> we're supposed to be with each other 24-7. And when you're not, I'm going to come up with a scenario to get your attention where you have to come and see me again and focus your energy back on me. Codependent. This person was codependent in a relationship of needing so much time in relationship of that is where I think that it went wrong. Yeah. Okay. So, let's see presently of what's going on with Scorpio just before they watch this reading. Presently, just before they watch this reading. Because the seven also here is like, man, y'all can't time me down. You know, I'm not hand-me-down. You know, I'm not hand-me-down. I'm not a child, you know. So I don't need hand-me-downs. So don't put me down. Don't hand me down. Don't pass me over or pass me on, you know. So it's more of a like, well, I'll just pass. It's, you know, it's like, pass... Uh, I'm hearing pass, like I'll pass, you know, I can't do that. And then someone comes up with this devious way of getting you back and you're like, no, bro, I'm out, like I'm gone. i am put the phone down, I've hung up and I'm out. Like it's, you're tying me down through the eight of swords. You're entrapping me into my head to make me feel I'm the blame for it. 
that I can't do all of this. So where's the blame? Yeah, but you're supposed to be doing all of this stuff. I set all this thing up. I done it myself in my head that didn't actually think, well, you know what? If they're just relaxed and they say, you know what, they can't, that I'm easily just said, oh, that's all right, okay, no, you know, no worries. I'll see you the next day or I'll see you in a week or I'll see you in the three to four days or, you know, you're obviously at work and busy. See you soon, I hope you're okay. Something very easy and simple, but this wasn't. This wasn't. And that's what I was saying about pressuring the Scorpio. Scorpio will know. <laughs> they'll, they'll more than likely know, you know. Because empaths feel it. You just know in your head and you're like, I know that you're trying to get my attention the wrong way. And that's not the way you do it. When you sense and you're speaking to someone and you know for a fact that they're doing something to get you focused on them, right? Saying something, doing something, getting you to come and do favours for them, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Oh, I just need a favour, I need you to come and do this. And it's like, yeah, but that means that I'm going to spend another day with you when I told you I was working. And then you're like, man, I know you're doing that. I know that you are doing that purposely to get more time out of me, like blood out of the stone, when I told you not to do all these kind of things. But you've done it. So... Here. So Ace of Pentacles presently just before you watch this, you've got a good opportunity in work, very st stable within our holding yourself up, self-made opportunity now, you're free, this can be a new person or just, or you're just literally free to do whatever you want to do now, you're free to work, your, your energy is freed up, you've basically completed a contract of work and also love relationship where you're now completed it. Okay. Ended a contract and started in a new life cycle. Let's see. It's but they come back in straight away. If not, if they don't physically come back in, then this is a new person that you might just be having. Um, you might just have like a sexual encounter with this person. It could be a one night stand. Maybe you could have had it. Or you could could possibly have it or know someone that you can have that with, right? Um, some of you, this is just relating that you've got children with this person and it's a very difficult relationship because it's it's even worse than any kind of circumstance, really. Um, because, uh, I don't know, Scorpio energies that are married can be very difficult energies of needing their own time and space. And if you've got children with like a husband and things like that, then that energy can get very like, like, oh, <laughs> right. So you, you could be that scenario here. If not, these are new people. This person, if this is a person from the past, you can probably still think or feel of them around you. Like you, you feel that underlining warmth that there's either one someone new or that that same person is still in your energy. Right, because you might still connect with them. Because obviously, we're all you're all on soulmate relationships, whether it's soulmate or not. Everybody's a soulmate, right? So, connect connection-wise, is that this is the aftermath of where you can still think and feel of that person, and still kind of like have them. You'll always have people. People have asked me about twin flames and soulmates. Man, you're going to still have all those people in your head for the rest of your life. <laughs> You'll never forget any of your karma and your life. It'll just always be there. Always. Right, but you've got like residual energy left over. Yeah, this person's watching you. <laughs> this person's probably checking out your Facebook. You could have two kids. They're now thinking about, um, I miss the sex. This person misses sex. If this is your partner, they miss having sex. Okay, they miss that. Either way, the actual physical relationship people, or even the people that were metaphysically or connected with anybody or was in relationships and split up, you've got, I don't know, you've got one energy that's watching another energy, meaning that you could have two people, meaning one that you're thinking of, sexually 
I mean, this could be the partner that you're connected with. If you're not thinking about anybody, then it could be the other person, right? Okay, still vice versa. But um, you can have one person that you're thinking of potential or is thinking of you, and there can be one person here that is more of a, uh, a one-night stand type fling. Okay, Ace of Pentacles. I mean, don't, whatever you do, don't, like, is my partner going off with another person and having a one-night stand? No, 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 I'm not saying that. I'm saying there are scenarios here for possibilities that could well be you, okay? But whatever you do, don't go and question your husband or wife and tell them that Steve said that you're having an affair with one of these people. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> right? Ace of Pentacles. The tower. You, you, man, y'all got some rod in your hand. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> right? This is a new person. This is a sexual... Um, the truth is, is that you more than likely had a one night stand here for a lot of people. If you know of your partner did, then that was the truth that was more than likely spoken and said that they've got a sexual attraction towards you, right, towards you. Um, but like I said, this could be a new person that just, because this is just before September-ish, before the reading comes out, and that you could have well met someone. You could work for children here as well though, like I said, here. Um, but you could just all of a sudden someone start to say, you know what, I really sort of, you know, like you. Ace of Swords. But the truth, the sun, so you got Leo energy going on around family, chaos at home. Um, but I think that the, the truth is, is that this person still has got a flame for you, because this is a flame. Right, so it could be a twin flame or flame, but either way, the twin flame is just old flame. You know, it's just connection. Um, but again, someone still has a flame for you, is what I'm hearing. The Ace of Wands. Yeah, they, they want to come back to a relationship and build a relationship. Money is good. Money is generally good. Like I said, money is coming in fast, 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 and fast. There seems to be more money, more money, more money, more money, more money, whatever that film was. Um, but it's coming in fast. There's a relationship coming in fast. There's a uh, also a sexual sexual thing, advanced coming in, advance on money, also a possible relationship. Wow, 10, 10. What is this? Happy Pisces. Pisces energy. Children at home that could be Pisces. Wow, man, y'all got clients all up in the nines here. If you work with children or people or clients, but these are people. There's also three opportunities of different folk uh, that you might, you know, you might be keeping your eyes wide open now. You know, because I'm really picking up that that's an aftermath of a, like a, an ending of a breakup. Now, this could be the same partner, or if you've been single for a while, you might be like, well, I'm keeping my options open. I've got three people here, three potential partners. Page of Swords. Oh, this person is ruminating around and around in their head, though. The, the spy. I'm a spy. In the house alone, I know the dream that you're dreaming of. I know the word that you long to hear. I know your deepest secret fears. I know everything. Someone knows everything. Someone knows, you know. It could be a Gemini. Uh, they came out through their energy. Uh, but, um, yeah, someone is all up in their head, ruminating on thoughts and going over it and probably watching tarot reading after tarot reading and tarot reading and trying to get the grips of what on earth is going on and their energy maybe. But it's a ruminating thought of Aquarian. It's more moon sign for me is Aquarius. Well, it's, yeah, Aquarius moon I normally feel that as. Because it's 
fixated on like going over it and 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 over it in your head because it's swords. So I always pick that up as like it's just going over my head and over my head and over and over and I can't get this person off my mind. This argument. This this person won't drop this argument because they're they're adding fear towards the argument. They're doing this. This eight of swords energy of the same instant. They're going over the eight of swords in their head and it accumulates to the five where it just gets trapped. And they go over it and over it and over it and over it. And they end up, that happens with this person quite a lot, I would say, or you or every person you meet. You bump into the same person that adds so much pressure onto it. Because this seven would normally carry five and run from five all, all day long. <clears throat> because nobody wants conflict. And if you bring drama and conflict to people, they're the people that run. Right? You bring the guillotine towards someone and start saying, listen, ah, no. So this person is ruminating on all of that. And uh, they'll probably be that same way in a relationship when, well, other with you and they'll do the same thing again because they're, they're going over it and over it and over it and over it in their head. Can't get it off, can't get you or you can't get them off your head. Yeah, so they want answers. Man, you've got clients all over the place. One of them might cause some kind of drama, maybe. I don't know. Children screaming, though. <laughs> Children screaming. Um, you've got a lot of people here. A lot of kids. Loads of kids. Have you got loads of kids? I mean, if you've got one kid or two kids or whatever, but, I mean, there's every suit here. Pages to nights. <coughs> But um, this person, though, is still like wanting to know answers of the Knight of Swords, but not talking about it. This is, Phew. no, I don't want to know. I don't want to listen. But I'm going to say my piece anyway and let you know exactly what I think and what I feel. And I'm going to say it violently towards you. And then I'm just going to shut up and be like, Phew. <laughs> don't talk to me like that. <laughs> right? That energy there is there. But like I said, this person that's caused this energy here, this person could have met, like, dating again, other people. And that's not going very well either. This is not going very well, this situation for this person here. <coughs> okay. Uh, one more card, because I want to know what that page of wands is, because they're all pages ruminating around a fire. It's just rumours, spreading rumours. They want another opportunity. But that could be spreading rumours, like going to brothers and sisters and friends and telling them maybe about... I mean, if that's a general supportive energy of like, listen, I need some support and guidance of knowing where my head's at because of a breakup and stuff like that and, and, and whatnot. But it depends if these are rumours of, of stuff. I don't know. But um, here, this person what still wants an opportunity. It depends... But, Again, man, that is such a strange energy. What is the Ace of Cups? Because there's an opportunity there, but it could well be passed and missed. It's up to them if they want to start speaking, because they've got more energy of like finding stuff out first. They might be single, this person. You, I think you are still single, but this person is still going over it in their head. I don't know. This person could well be dating. You could be as well, that's what I'm saying. Single dating, comic free. But this is living the life of luxury as well. Being able to afford whatever you want, pretty much. You've got the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine, which is ten again. And ten there, that's happy single. Happy single, which is the five, is more of a thinking and an aftermath of the actual breakup itself with not speaking to them anymore. And that you are physically single away from this person. Okay, so that's your present and your past. We're just very quickly looking to... Uh, oh, dear. I <laughs> didn't really want to look at the Nine of Wands underneath that. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't really want to see the Nine of Wands there. Leo... Uh, well, Leo's there. But Leo... Um, Virgo energy. Um, let's see. Um, so show me Scorpio for September. Show me Scorpio for September. 
again, the page of wands comes out, man, the same person again is thinking again, thinking again, same cards, thinking that you're not speaking, thinking but entrapped in their head of why they're not speaking to you or why you're not speaking to them. But someone here is going over and over and over in their head, Leo uh, Aquarius, Leo Aquarius. Okay, oh, because this is Leo, more than likely, Leo, Leo Aquarius, eight. Okay wants to talk but is not talking it's like well i'm watching but i'm not talking about any of it i'm not prepared to listen or change my mind it's just going over and over and over my mind scorpio from september some of you are at, uh, at work and you work for children and that there is a person around you that you don't speak to at work here and that they're slow, go slow, slower, stop. And they stop at the road and they look at their phone and you're like, bruv, what are you doing? And they're like, hey, <laughs> get off your phone, do some work. You're like, oh, oh yeah, <laughs> that kind of thing, right? There's someone here that's very, uh, that, that is like, this is you at work, right? And that message of like, slow, stop, go, <laughs> right? You've got the same cards coming out for September. This person, this I don't think this person even knows their own truth of something. I mean, you don't, this person doesn't want the truth about why people cause the eight of swords and fixation of like thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. That's the effect that it caused. It caused an effect of someone like going over it and over it and over it in the head. So there's a, either a new person here for you guys, or this is the person that wants to start to speak to you here. The truth of the matter is, that you might start speaking again, but I don't know. See, these are opportunities. If no one, you know, a tarot card reader would say, listen, you've got a message coming in. You know, keep an eye on the message that's coming in. And you're like, man, that didn't come in. <laughs> it's because you didn't send it. And neither did they. So that's the opportunity. Someone either reaches out, someone doesn't. It's simple as that. You know, show the Scorpio for September 2020. Yeah. They want a relationship, 100%, Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, any sign. But there is someone there that wants a relationship. It's like, well, I'm free and willing for a relationship if you want one. But someone's got to overcome this Eight of Swords energy. Because someone is fixated on relationship, I want a relationship, I want a relationship, I want a relationship, I want a relationship. But this can be where you're a mum here. Yeah? You can be the mum of children and you're like, I need a break, right? I need a break. Oh, you all have as well, Taurus. This is a marriage. These people are married. You're married. That's good. If not, you're pretty much going to go into a relationship. Work is good. There is a potential of someone that you could have possibly as a partner. For, for a lot of you folk that might be single here, that you could meet someone new here along your journey. Because it's going along your journey. This person could already be a mother here. They could already have children for you guys or the guy that meets you, you're the person that already has kids, and you can meet a guy, and it could be a Taurus, or any sign. But for the guys, if you're watching, there's a possibility that you can meet a woman, and she will have either children, or a child at least, I would say, and then vice versa for the women, you more than likely have children and you meet someone. You could even meet a guy that has, obviously, kids. Either way, I think that the person that you meet can have children, if this is new. And if it isn't, then that's why this hate comes, because it comes up everywhere. It's like, man, all of a sudden, everybody's now starting to talk about relationship, <laughs> right? The past and everybody comes back all at once to do things, and you never know. 
Okay, so we're going to go on the rest of your reading and see what happens for your full version of September. And then we clarify the cards to see what's going to happen, guys. Uh, so again, as last month, <clears throat> the first this goes over to Tier 1 and Tier 2. The 1st until the 15th and the 15th until the 30th or 31st, whatever. That doesn't come out on YouTube uh, this month because I've got to go back to work September the 1st or 2nd. So I'm not going to have time to put the first half out. So again, as it was the month before, the 1st, the 15th, and 15th, and 31st, it goes directly straight over to Patreon Tier 2. Okay, they don't come out on YouTube. But I will do the, uh, just add some videos to YouTube that will be just channeling, okay, and, and an odd tarot reading, but it depends on who has the most likes and views and stuff like that. Uh, if you want a personal tarot card reading or anything like that or a Skype call, you can reach out from the email below or follow Angel Radio. I should have had a new one out by now, I think, because I've made it. I've just got to make the video. Um, but follow, uh, follow Angel Radio below or keep up to date with the channel because it comes out on here also. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks very much, Scorpio. Let's see what's going to happen for your September.